Good day, dear chess lovers. Today I learned that on Friday, a handwritten letter in which Albert Einstein penned his famous E equals MC squared equation has been sold for $1.2 million at auction, three times more than had been expected. And I thought that it's high time to publish the only known game played by Einstein. Yes, strangely, up to this point I haven't published it. In this game, Einstein's opponent is his colleague, theoretical physicist and professor of physics Robert Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is among those who are credited with being the father of the atomic bomb. Einstein loved chess and it's well known that he was a friend of former world chess champion Emmanuel Lasker. The following game was played in 1933 in Princeton. Einstein opened up with e4, to which Oppenheimer answered with e5. Knight f3, knight c6, and bishop b5. What is interesting, the renowned theoretical physicist goes for Rui Lopez, which requires a gigantic theoretical knowledge. Probably the most theoretical opening you know, a6, Morphy defense. Bishop a4, b5, this is the so-called Koro variation. Bishop b3, knight f6. White castled kingside and knight takes e4. Well, usually this is not how black is playing. Bishop b7, bishop e7, or bishop c5 are more preferable lines. In the game we see knight takes e4. Uh, rook e1, yeah, the vulnerability of the e-file can create problems for black. d5, a4. As already after d5, black is threatening bishop c5. It was high time to challenge this knight with a move like d3 or knight c3, but instead we see a4, and in this case actually by playing bishop c5, black could gain initiative, but instead played b4, d3 knight c5, and the pawn on e5 drops, knight e7, and now we will see that gradually, move by move, white is starting to gain initiative, a6 is already a serious mistake, at this point, bishop e6 is the most accurate defense, but in the game we see f6 and black's position is starting to collapse. Yeah, knight takes g6 just blows apart black's position and Oppenheimer is in trouble. Knight takes b3, c takes b3, queen d6, bishop h6. Black is suffering heavy losses. King d7 and the bishop on f8 also dropped. Black had a great chance of gaining initiative that bishop c5 could allow him to create problems for Einstein, but he failed to find that move and now is going to pay a high price for it. Yeah, Black's position is already hopeless. a5, and at this point, what is interesting, Einstein found the most accurate move. Can you find what's next move? Uh, ready? Yeah, turns out that knight c4 is the move which leads to a forced mate in 11. There we have it, knight c4. White is sacrificing a piece. Well, if you won't accept and move away your queen, then the knight on e7 will drop. Black accepted the piece sacrifice, and now white is managing to open up the d file as well. Queen takes d1, rook takes d1, king c8, bishop takes e7. And finally, at this point, the father of the atomic bomb resigned. Well, this is it, dear chess lovers. This is how the game of two great physicists ended. And in the end, let's solve a riddle. Why not? Let's solve a riddle. And this riddle is known as Einstein's riddle. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. According to Einstein, 98% of the world cannot solve this. Yeah, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care!